Hello everyone, welcome back to another narrative game. Don't do your rolling. Another narrative game for SN. Now, this is this is gonna a new new avenues for us. Yeah, this no. is a new venture. Now we've done so some exciting. narrative. I know. I like I like how we chat for days about what we're yeah. gonna do for today. It's it go it builds and builds and builds. And actually I'll I'll be truthful, it constantly develops and adapts yeah. as we're getting up to the door to play the game because yeah. we're just, it, as I think, right? As in the story, like we're constantly going, oh, imagine if this happened and what if this happened, so on and so forth. Um, hence, for example, why this is here. The box. The box. The What's box. in the box? Yeah. So I'll explain that in a moment. But anyway, let's have a little dive into the narrative today. Yes. This is a prelude to what could become a full fledged campaign yeah. here at SN. Um, and we are on the planet of Mobus Epsilon. Mobus Epsilon in one of the oldest and ancient hive cities existing on that planet. Mm -hmm. um, the planet is well known for production of um, medical equipment and any kind, anything based to do with the Imperium that's to do with uh, medicine. Yeah, supplies. Um, supplies and... or, you know, the darker stuff that the Imperium get up to that people yeah. don't know about publicly. Yeah. Um, all deep down within on this planet. So it is uh, very important for the Imperium. Um, and essentially what's happened is that Inquisitor Greyfax, yeah. none other, the infamous that she is, uh, she has um, been ordered by the Inquisition to come to Mobus Epsilon because supplies are kind of um, coming in and out. They're not, they're, there's there's um, a lot of disruption yeah. going on within the system and the Imperial Tithes need to come in all the time, constantly, otherwise the Imperium comes and sends fleets. Yeah, they, they feed it straight away, exactly. right? Exactly, it comes up because there's a constant warfare going on and you need those supplies. Yeah. So, um, she's been sent and she has brought none other than a rhetoric of custodies to investigate deep within the hive of what is going on on um, Mobus Epsilon. Yeah. Now, jumps forward a little bit, where after a lot of investigating, a lot of asking questions, yeah. um, she finds herself deep Deep within the hive, not quite the underhive, yeah. but she's deep within the hive in an old abandoned medical facility where some sort of catastrophe has taken place and it has been ruined and left for yeah. quite a while. Um, what does she find there? None other than hordes of pox walkers. Um, go by many names, shambling dead, the rotting dead, the walking dead, so on and so forth uh, on this world. Um, but they're not ordinary pox walkers. No. Some of them are. Some of them are. But Within, deep within the mysteries of what's going on on this planet, um, which we have yet undiscovered, yeah. there is a new strain of Poxwalker. Could this, be man-made. Could, it could be. Could be man-made. This pale strain that has come through, that is causing this kind of um, almost see-through, flesh-looking, um, coming through on some of the Poxwalkers that you'll see throughout the game. The White um, Dead. Yes, the White Dead. And we shall, uh, I'll explain some of the rules in a minute, guys, when it comes to the actual gameplay. Yeah. But the point is that they are shambling through the streets um, looking for brains and looking for other things to eat um, and it's alarming but why has this happened can't just say oh this box walk is there for so exactly. we need to find the information and data for that and that is what the mission is today for you mr. Pardo and the forces of the Imperium <laughs> um, you are going to basically intercept find the data and then bring it back out again so the Imperium can find out what it is that's going on about this new variant that is basically exactly going to potentially take over the whole planet and then yeah. disrupt maybe the whole sector with how, um, how how fast this gets goes. Yeah. Now, so there's four data points, right? There are four data nodes within the game. Yeah. Um, we're going to be playing on this amazing um, ancient ruined, uh, well, I look like a, yeah, but it looks like a, it looks like a medical facility. Looks, it looks very Necromunda. It does look very Necromunda. It does I was going to say, it does look very Necromunda. Yeah. That's why I am... Um, that's why I kind of chose this setting myself, because I, I love that kind of idea, that Necromunda feel. Yeah. Um, and this game is very much in that kind of style. Yeah. So, um, do you want me to go through a couple of the rules and bits and pieces? Um, yeah, you can, yeah, we can, we can both talk yeah. about what we're going to do. So there's a lot of, of different changes. Um, there are. First of all, as, as DC explained, there is four uh, uh, data nodes on the... Um, on the planet itself, or yep. this part of the city. Yes. Uh, so my main mission is to get to these nodes. Yes. And uh, uh, Inter da data intercept, right? Yes. Data intercept. Mine the data within the um, old medical facilities here, to, uh, because she's pinpointed. Great facts pinpointed. This is where the um, it all began. Yes. And basically, what's going to happen is the once you've got that data, you need to get off planet as quick as you can. Yes. So 
Um, we've changed a couple of the rules. Now, it is a narrative game, guys, yep. much like the narrative we've done recently with um, uh, Rescue Astro. of Val Valrak. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was the, the Siege of Muscovia um, Prime. 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 Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. But yeah. watch this it's one. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was a good one. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and we had a lot of good uh, feedback from people yes. to say, more do some more. So we thought, let's give it a go, do some more. And so yeah. this one is our next installment. Yeah. Um, now, with that, like I said in the first that first game, is that we are changing the rules up here to fit the narrative, yeah. much like most narrative players do. Mm -hmm. um, and we've made a lot of changes because it's a smaller scale game. Yes, like you said, it's very much like Necromunda in the yeah. sense of we're not doing big armies. This is the prelude to what could become later big armies, big wars, yeah. everything that's going on. Um, and we're making some changes to the mechanics in terms of what your stuff can do yes um, and a little bit of my stuff mm -hmm. so i'll go through my stuff first okay fox walkers are going to be in groups of seven yeah because that which, is nurgle's number yeah which would be illegal in, in exactly. normal games but we just want them to be smaller numbers yeah, yeah. and it's just, seven just uh, crowds of smaller numbers yeah. there just walking through the streets can you right? imagine they're not they're not sort of ambushing these people they yeah. are literally just pouring through the streets yeah. in, in small gangs and groups looking for more people to infect yeah. Um, you just happen to be in the area exactly. and stir up the nest, as it were. Mm -hmm. So they're in groups of seven, and they're going to be a mix of the um, pale or the prime specimen, or whatever we're going to call them throughout the game. Basically, if you see a pox walker that is pale in comparison to the others, they get an extra attack because yeah. they are like a, a the nastier new, strain. The new gene seed, yeah. Exactly. The new, not gene seed, sorry. <laughs> the, the, new, uh, <laughs> yeah, the new virus. Could right? be a gene seed manipulation. Maybe. Um, but anyway, and then so we're going to be doing that. And then uh, so the way it's going to work is there are key points within the um, terrain, yeah. large, the large, basically large buildings, on uh, roll of four up. Yeah. Um, more pox walkers can be pouring forth out of those. Yeah, at the end of my turn, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Basically, start my, yeah, end, end of your turn. Start of yours. Yeah, exactly. Get started with mine. Um, and then, in terms of the, other than that, the mysterious box is what we're going to be adding into it. Now, I'm not going to tell you what's in the box. No. Um, but there's obviously some We always like to do this. Yes. And we're going to carry on doing it. Yeah. Surprises. Gonna, there's going to be a surprise. surprise. So there's going to be a surprise in the box throughout the game. It's going to be placed on the battlefield somewhere on the bottom of six up. Whatever's in the box will be unleashed. Yeah. Hoping yeah. it gets unleashed turn one. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's there's no like normal rules like uh, we're just going to put the box walkers uh, wherever aesthetically they look uh, yes. cooler. Yeah. When yeah. they're coming out, they don't need to be nine inches away from anybody. They just come out wherever they can. Yeah, and, exactly. And uh, just imagine like if, if people watch The Walking Dead as soon as these pox walkers hear yeah. gunfire it's and explosions, coming. you know, they just go towards that direction. So. Big time. Yeah, so that's how we're going to play it. Basically, it's going to be it's, again. It's it's narrative. It's fluffy. Yeah, this is not a competitive game. It's not exactly. even match play gaming. No. Um, we're just doing it for the fun of it. So, yeah. um, basically, that's how it's going to operate. Now, I have other surprises that you'll see hopefully throughout the game. Yeah, and um, they get triggered on certain things. Yeah, um, especially for example the data nodes. Yeah. and to speak to the data nodes. Um, it's going to be harder for you at the start, but yes. we're going to make it easier as the game goes on for yeah. you to intercept the data as time is running out. Exactly. So we're going to start with a five up. So if I get into base to base, basically I perform an action. Mm -hmm. um, now there's another rule that we're going to imp implement is knowing that there's going to be a lot of sp uh, smaller sp uh, squads of box walkers. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in combat a lot. So we are going to allow uh, for any of um, basically the models to still fall back out of combat and yes. be able to perform an action yes. on one of those nodes. Yeah. nodes. Uh, it's just going to work better because yeah. I know there's going to be a lot of combat. We're going to be stuck in many of the times, especially with Fox Walkers, which are quite resilient. Now, on the roll of a five up, we start as from turn one. Mm -hmm. And then from each turn after that, we get a better roll off. Uh, for and, each turn yeah, until, until, I guess, right until to it the gets end. to a two up. But by then, then, turn five is still also a two up. Yeah. Uh, but by then, maybe I'm dead. You know, exactly. We never know. We, all the missions complete. You never exactly. know. But um, and on top of that is that the like I said about the changes we're going to make in terms of the custodies. Yes. These guys are super superhuman warriors. Yeah. And with that, there's only a few of them on the field. We want them to feel like super superhuman warriors. Yes. So when much like like in Necromunda. Um, we're going to have more interaction between the single models um, rather than, for example, units. having units and squads. So they yeah. can act uh, independently. Yep. Um, so even though I've just got one unit of uh, wardens, uh, there will be actually uh, four units. Each exactly. one will Individual. be uh, individually. On top of that, we're going to change it up so that they can basically um, shoot Overwatch normally whenever yep. they want. All the time. Because again, 
There's just pops walkers everywhere, yeah. and they're just going to be blasting really all the slow. time. They know what's coming, yeah. As, and yeah, they were just going to add that to it. Yeah, it just makes it easier. It, narratively, it just makes it really, really cool, right? We want to just see dead pop walkers exactly. on on mass, on mass and more coming yeah. in. Exactly. So we're going to be doing that. All, yeah. Also, um, advanced uh, full yes. six and advanced. Uh, full obviously, six and they advanced. can't charge after that, but uh, we know there's, it's a mission that we want to go in and out as quickly as possible. Yeah. So it is. We're quite in a rush at the same time, so. Uh, that advanced role is just going to be an automatic six. Yes. Um, to add to that, and I think that's about it, right? Shall I go with what I yeah, have because yeah. there's some upgrades on here. So um, the um, the Vexilla, the Vexilla has the um, class one attack, so Vexilla Imperius. So everybody, yes. him and everybody within six, uh, gets an extra uh, attack. Nice. All of them have uh, spears. Nice. Uh, just to make it uh, nice and easy. All of them have uh, Mr. Cordia as well. Obviously, the Wardens bring it stock. Right. Uh, but I have added one to uh, the Vexilia just nice. for e easier yeah, access. Yeah. And then we've got the two characters in the front. We've got the Astropath. He's taken Psychic uh, Maelstrom, psychic Maelstrom. Uh, for his Psychic Power. And then Greyfax himself, herself is taken... Um, I always forget the name of this one. Let me... Castigation Ooh. on her. So both of them know Smite. Obviously, the Astropath... Is a bit weaker smite. I just roll one d6 <laughs> right. instead if I use it, um, and then Greyfax has castigation and smite at the same time. She's awesome, um, right? She's awesome, yeah. And yeah, with that said, we're, we're using all the normal rules they have anyway. Yes. Now, and yeah. the next part I want to talk about before we get stuck into the game and everything yeah. else is stratagems. Yeah. We're gonna have some CP. Yeah. Um, we don't play like normal CP because obviously we don't have normal uh, battleforged armies, but the CP we do have per um, per player. Uh, we're going to change it down to basically re-rolls. Yes, just um, use for re-rolls. Yeah, I think I'll try and use Walking Dead now and again. Yes. It's just fun and fluffy. Yeah, yeah. Um, Definitely. It's not going to do much. Yeah. Um, and then... Um, we're, we're going to... Well, we can use the normal ones in the rulebook. So we can yes. use like... Uh, um, uh, me attack, me strike it before uh, your attack. What's it yeah. called? Um, the, normal, the normal one. Yeah, intervene, right? Or into... No, no, it's called... Um... Uh, the 2CP... <laughs> What's it called? On blank. The two CP to um, obviously so strike, day. strike uh, before he does after his yeah. first uh, uh, strategy. But we're also going to incorporate one more, which is called Golden Strike. The golden Strike. So it's just going to cost me one CP, yeah. and it basically makes me attack first, even if there's he's charging. Yeah. So basically, charge strikes before anything yeah. for one CP for think, one unit. Think high elves in old fantasy edition. Yes. Because they always strike first. Yes, regardless. exactly. It's exactly. basically that. It's because these guys are so superhuman with yeah. possible because they're just running in, slicing up. Yeah, but remember that every, every custodian is a single guy. Yes. So only one of them will be able yeah, to do only that. only one. Yeah. But it's still very cool. Yeah. Why is that strategy called? It's, no, it's, it's really going to push Stop me. it. <laughs> Comment below and let me know. No, stop it. Um, it's, we, just, we just call it intervening, don't we? Or yeah, 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 play, yeah. But uh, that's going to bug me. <laughs> um, that's going to bug me anyway. So um, that's basically the yeah, uh, just the that's rules. Basically it. We'll explain more as the game goes on, yeah. um, and you'll see the the, the flow and the gameplay um, as as we develop. Yeah. Hopefully, I will surround you turn two and just eat all of you, and that'll be that. Yeah, um, that's what I'm hoping. Hopefully not. <laughs> um, but if not, but anyway, um, comment below. Let us know as well. Um, we last time we asked if you enjoyed narrative games. I'd also like to know. Um, as we always do on, on the live streams, yeah. but I, but we never do it on video, is let us know where you're from. Yeah, I love that. It's like my favourite. Yeah. Because it's like, hey, I'm, I'm from Australia, I'm watching right now. You're like, what? 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 Yeah. I'm watching in Canada, I'm watching in Tokyo, or whatever it is. So comment yeah. below, let us know where you're yeah. from. Country, and if if you think the Imperium is going to pass the mission, oh. or if it's going to be a mission denied like by uh, the box walkers, right? Yes, and the surprise. And the surprise. And yeah. the surprise. Um, so, You've seen the battlefield, you've seen the, the brief introductions, yeah. um, and you've seen me and you've seen you. Seen my kill team, I guess, right? It is a kill team. Yeah. yeah, and you've seen my tiny kill team. Yeah. Um, so we'll see you on the battlefield and we'll get this narrative mission going. Inquisitor Greyfax reporting. I have been within the central hive of Nova's Epsilon for several weeks. I was brought here by reports of Chaos Cult activity, and I have purged several heretics that neglected to cooperate fully with my investigations. 
I have discovered that a new Pops Walker plague has sprung up among the Hab blocks. These undead are being called the Pale Kin by the local populace. I have located the potential origins of these abominations within an old medical facility in a disused sector of the Hive. Usually, I would not bring such trivial matters to the wider order of Hereticus and the Inquisitor Lord Turan, and simply dispatch throne agents and the Adaptus Sororitas to purify the affected areas. But this new strain is different. It can affect Astartes' physiology. We cannot engage Exterminatus protocols. Mobus Epsilon is of too great strategic importance to the Imperium, and the threat of this mysterious new disease being able to reach the Adeptus Astartes is a grave risk that must be studied. I will extract what data I can find at the source, so we can understand and defeat this plague, Chaos. I will soon depart for the lower hive levels, so future communications will be limited. May the God Emperor protect and watch over us. We are deep within the medical facilities of Morbus Epsilon, the Hive City Brains. It's a very good zombie impression. <laughs> so here we are, like we said, the custodies have entered the Hive. I'm going to talk you through the terrain. Obviously, you've seen the introduction, and if you skip the introduction, naughty, naughty. 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 You should I mean, go back because there's a lot of rules that are yeah, going to apply to yeah. the narrative. It's going to be confusing. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be confusing. Exactly. So um, let me take you through. The, like I said, the depths of the Mobus Epsilon's medical facility, which is now into ruin. Um, I mean, the Mobus Epsilon hive is so old, yeah. it probably predates the heresy even. Um, of, of how old it actually is. I know. Um, You're deep within the category. The terrain is also. It's, it's, it's also, one of our first sets. Yeah. I'm this, really happy you took it out. Yes. I'm really happy you took it out. It was right in the back. Right in the back. I was never going to go back there. <laughs> So I'm happy you went. I did, I did. But uh, I thought it was perfect to rainfall we're going to use It is, today. it is. It looks amazing. It is indeed. So, what is going on? As we explained at the start, we have the custody forces coming through the entranceway uh, of the hive and into what is, like I said, the abandoned area of the medical facilities. But, obviously, we are here to collect the data within these medical facilities as to what is going on on Morbus Epsilon, the strange happenings of chaos. Yeah. And of course, Inquisitor Greyfax. I'm nervous. You could be nervous. I know. You don't know what's happening. Yeah, you know, like those plate when you go to like a theme park and you go into these uh, scary rides <laughs> yeah. and you go into the room and not, don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> That's me right now. <laughs> exactly. That is you right now. I have some surprises for you. You just which... hear the sound. Of... <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> the free, yeah, the cold eeriness of this uh, darkened uh, hive area. Now, um, let me take you through where the nodes are. We have one in basically every chevron corner. There's one here, uh, as you probably saw at the start. Then there's one in this corner. Beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sound effects there. Yeah. I mean, we did blow the budget last time. Yeah, but we did. <laughs> so easy now. Yeah. Easy. We have one over this side, and obviously parallel here. And then one in front of this medical facility uh, of yonder once uh, long ago, right there. So, as we explained, Mr. Pardo has to interact with those nodes to get the data to find out what is going on on Morbus Epsilon. Now, how will it work for you? How will it work for me? We explained the rules at the start, but I just yeah. want to quickly go over. Just a quick one. Just yeah. a quick one. And it's just that, obviously, the speed of Mr. Pardo's forces with the advance roll, uh, always getting a six if you want yep. to advance. So and the other tweaks. Yeah, so you, we don't want to be here. Well, we want to be here as little time as possible. Yeah, exactly, exactly, before the nastiness comes. And of course, I have a few Poxwalkers mingling around, and you think, well, 
Where's the rest of them? Well, in each of these buildings, there could be potential hordes of the Walking Dead waiting to come out and uh, say hello to Mr. Powder. Yeah, I'm going to run the other way. Yes, you are going to run the other way. Now, we have two roll-offs. Yeah. Um, well, one roll-off, and we'll do it like we did last time. Yes. With number of CP. Yeah. So, um, we're going to roll off to see who goes first. And no, I was going first. It's, oh, yes, you're going yeah. first. This is the roll-off. This roll is off. the roll-off to see how many CP we start the game with. Exactly. Now, you're so. using... La Voz de Horus. Oh. So it's a Spanish podcast. Really close friends of ours. Yes. Uh, they come to all our events because they're close by. So yeah, check it out. If yeah. you're Spanish or no Spanish, go and check it out. La Voz de Horus. right there. Mr. Yeah. Pardo, yeah. <laughs> the work, Mr. Pardo. I'm using uh, the old Siege Studios here because uh, well, the boys of Siege Studios do good work. Yeah. Now, let's see. How many CP does Mr. DC get? Oh, he gets the five. Ooh. That's three. a three, that's not bad. And not don't bad. forget, it is just a reminder that it's just for re-rolls when we need it. Yeah, re-rolls and uh, the specific stratagem for this game, which exactly. is uh, if you charge me, I can pay a CP on strength. Exactly. exactly, and of course I can use my um, stratagem to bring back more box walkers. Yes. The Walking Dead. Yes. Um, um, a couple of other things, just in case you missed the intro, which you shouldn't, but remember mm -hmm. all the models are um individual models for this yes, game of course um and yeah and we have the main i think you missed it right you have the main the communicator uh, apologies communicator, so yes yeah. um as we explained at the start he needs to get back to the communicator to get extraction from deep within the hive yeah um once he has the data he can't leave without the data i say he it's a she yeah if, was, if, if i facts. if i don't leave the data it means i'm dead exactly and the mission is over exactly yeah. the mission is over yeah. his mission is over so with that being said no rule off Oh, and just lastly, you'll see this rusty old crater here. Yeah. Now yeah. we like surprises. We like surprises. I got, I had mine in the last report. You did. Uh, I won't say anything about that. No. And that's your one. And this is my one. And I've got a noble dice here, which we will roll off at the start of every one of my turns to see if the surprise. Need in sixes. Need, you need, need, need the, in, you I need, need the noble. Need the seven. Exactly. And then the surprise will be unleashed. But until then, let us begin the quest deep within the hive of Morbus Epsilon. Catch you back in a second. All right, the end of the moon phase here, and Inquisitor Greyfax and her Retuin of Custodies are running across the hive here, looking to get their mission complete as soon as possible. Um, and interestingly, you've left one of the uh, Custodies. Yeah, some tactics in play. Yeah. So the problem is I have to split everybody up because obviously there's four nodes. There's a chance I'm going to fail yep. uh, when I try to um, data intercept. Data intercept. So I want to split. I want to split them up. Everybody has to go different directions. Try yeah. and get as many nodes as possible. Or have the chance to data uh, intercept. Okay. Um, at the same time, I need to get back to this position to call in for reserves. Yes. For extraction or or just for, for exactly. basically some help. So I thought everybody's vox connected. They so are. why not leave someone behind? So as soon as we get two nodes that we want for the objective, we just vox in. Call it in. So I love that. He's going to have to just just uh, try and defend himself by yeah. himself if anything's come close to him, which I'm sure he would there will. So he's just shuffled up and get line of sight onto some shots onto those box walkers just on the other side. Um, we've moved with this squad here. Yeah, we've just moved, not advancing on them. Nope. They've advanced, so remember, just another... Um, the full six, but they the can't full shoot. Six, yeah, okay. they can't shoot. Uh, full six again, advance on these guys. Uh, but obviously, I can't uh, do psychic powers with her. Yes, uh, with her. And yeah, that's about it. That's, yeah, nice that's and trying to now, just go different directions. I know, but it's dangerous because it's you, dangerous. you could have gone as a horde, as a horde, as a group, and it would be a you lot could more. Have, but then I, I'm not spreading throughout the table. It's so, interesting tactic, yeah. yes. Well, we'll see how it goes, guys. Okay, I'm excited. Um, so let's start off with the second phase. Yes, let's go quickly into okay, the second phase. Begin? So we're going to start with uh, Greyfax. Okay, she's, um, going she's going to cast. Just a smite. Just a cheeky smite. That goes oh. off on a super smite, big D6. I'm just going to keep it? No. No, oh. oh. no I'm going to have to reroll. Yeah, the warp is fickle. No, I'm going to have to reroll. Okay, that's that, a pass still. That's a pass. So D3 mortal wounds. D3. It's just one. Just one. Um, do you six have up. your field of pain still? I do. Yeah. Unending horde. No. Yay, I killed one. You got one. The first pox walker. Okay. His name was Jeremy. Jeremy? Yes. Oh, poor Jeremy. Poor okay, Jeremy. and next up, I'm going to do psychic maelstrom. Uh, on obviously the Astropath. Okay. Just seven on this. Okay. Near seven. Oh, he gets oh, it. Just about. Okay. So on a two plus, you suffer mortal wounds. Okay. That's a, a mortal wound. Uh, on, so on my... now, yeah. Now I, I would. I need to carry on uh, rolling, but it specifically says that if the wound goes through, you carry on rolling. So I, 
at this point you do have a save against mortal wounds. Yeah. So I would normally you would roll because not a lot of things have anti-mortal yeah. wounds. Uh, so you need to roll. If you okay. roll a six, then it stops. It stops. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. <laughs> so yeah, basically I would carry on rolling on three up, four up, oh, five up, six up. Potentially wipe um, out the unit. Yes. But you're in Nurgle's playground, my friend. Exactly. Exactly. So uh, that's it now. No more psychic, right? No, no more psychic. Just okay. a bit of shooting. So we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys in the shooting phase coming up. All right, starting off the shooting phase, the Vexilla in the entrance to the hive. Um, it's going to be firing through this blasted door here yeah. into, let's see if I can see him. There he is, into those Pox Walkers. Yeah. How many shots? Uh, two shots, because okay. he is in rapid fire range. Okay, do you want twos? That's two hits. Uh, strength four to your toughness four I now. Tough, yeah. So, force to wound. One wound at minus one. One wound uh, automatically goes through because yeah. I'm seven up save, but I do have a six up field of pain. No. That means one of them is dropped. It is damage two as well, so oh. I have to make sure. There Doesn't you go. really matter. One, <laughs> one's dropped anyway. So one and then dropped. rinse and repeat from this one here, which is the only, the last one to shoot now. The rest, everybody has basically like bounced. So, okay. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Looking for that again. No, just one. One wound. One wound. Damage is two, so you need okay. to roll it twice. Yeah, no, it doesn't, matter, doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. Two Poxwalkers dropped out of that uh, shambling horde over there. Yep. Not too bad. Um, now, any charges? Uh, yeah, I'm going to charge with him. I thought so, yes. Just him, not that. I'm not sure what you need. It's probably a five or six. Yeah, let's see what let's I get see first. see what you get. That'll definitely yeah, get you in definitely seven. Good. Yeah. They're in. Um, I'm not going to go in with him. Ooh. I know he's like in a bad place to stay by himself, but yeah. I'm worried. I don't kill enough and then you attack back and you can strike him, so... But don't forget, at the end of the phase, on yeah. four plus each of the corners, I might know. get zombie hordes and this one. He's, he's still a bit further away, right? So... He is. They all come out the doorway. Yeah. But, yeah. Tell you what, I'm going to try and put him in. He will strike first anyway, yeah, so... Yeah, exactly. Let's try. He's in with a he's nine. In. He wants so some blood. I'm going to go this way because I know you obviously you're coming from this, exactly. this table, so exactly. a bit more um, a bit shielding from the custodian. I think it's a smart move because yeah. he would have been munched on by zombies, I reckon. I know, I know. Don't okay. Early on. So early on. Fight phase. Coming up. Okay, here goes with the custodian now. I'm going to slice through what's left of those pox walkers. Yep. Yeah. So hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. All hit. And wounding on threes. And then. Uh, three go through. Three go through, and the damage? Uh, damage is D3. So do you want me to roll that? Right, just go straight through, right? Yeah. So that's one first. This one is dead. Is one dead. Two is, is uh, damage two. Ooh, close, Ooh. but two dead. And last one is just one. Ooh, come on, six! Yes! Oh, Papa one Nurgle side. wants it! Okay, um, I've got the... Um, that's the path now. Do you no, want me to... I've got Mr. Cody. Oh, sorry. I was going to say, do you want to CP reroll that lost wound? Mm, no. Have... no, it's fine. Okay. I'll do Mr. Cody. Hits. Hits. Uh, Use your strength. So strength five. No, nope. not a wound. Not a wound. Um, tell you what, I will reroll that one. Okay, no problem. Uh, no, no. That's a two. So I, I should have rerolled the other one, but obviously it passed already. So it would have failed. It would have failed either way, actually. Um, so just one? Um, oh, no, no, that's yeah, that's go. And now we've got the Astropath. Yes. He's so bad. He's so good. One attack. Yes. Hitting on fives. No. Doesn't hit. Oh dear. And that's the end of him. <laughs> so you pile in. Yeah, now the Pox Walkers fight back. Okay, I'm going to put. Um, oh, I'm not I'm going to be cruel. I'm going to put one on the Astropath. Yeah. I'm going to put two on the. Okay. Um, Fair enough. And of course. We've got two pure strains there. Yes. To the pale breed. To an extra attack. To an extra attack. Um, so that means I've got three attacks for five attacks on the Custody. And then three attacks on the Astropath. On the Astropath. I do fours. Two. Strength three, toughness three. Toughness three, yeah. Fours, two wounds. Two wounds. Um, I've got a six up save. <laughs> oh. oh. Two. Wait, that's one wound remaining. He has him. one wound remaining. Dice here to remember. Okay, <laughs> and then the rest going into the custodian. And the rest going into the custody, hitting on fours. That's three. And then wounding on fives, I guess. Uh, yeah, tap is uh, five. Yeah. Uh, one wound. Oh, no. Two up. Oh, oh he's he is it. wounded. You got, um, okay. you got to reroll that. Um, I, can't, re I can't, I rerolled already. Oh, he's taking a wound. So he's taking a wound. Down to yeah. two. Um, two wounds remain. Right? And yeah. you know what that means? Yeah, that I'm infested. Potentially infected. infected. Potentially infected. So, 
On a six up for the custody. Suffer more than one. You lose a wound and the infection begins. No. <laughs> and the astropath. Yes. On a six up, the infection. He'll go straight into a pox walker. No, oh, yeah. so close. I thought I was it now. Um, but he's on one wound remaining. Uh, that's not great. That's not great for you, sir. No. Now. Um, that's, that's it, it, right? Yeah, that's it. Now, end of the turn. Yeah. Means it's roll off time. Four do, 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 do. Okay, so we have the four pillars yeah. and the central uh, hidden one. And this one, right? Or no. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that one, no. Because no, that that's just like a tower tower pumping facility of some okay. sort of bio rat. Um, yeah. But these actually have you know, rooms, etc. So we'll start off with the central one. I really want this on a four up because your lovely uh, close proximity. Oh, they're coming in. Alrighty, and then we're going to go over this corner. Four up. Nope, nothing comes from there. Just still have the one squad though. On um, this top left of the screen, they're coming in. So we have another squad of Poxwalkers coming over this way. And I really want these guys over here. I really want them to get into that Vexilla. Yes, oh. okay, they're coming in. And then last but not least, the one you don't want. Yes, oh. they're coming in as well. Okay, it's a full house, I think. So, do um, you have to roll for this? At the start of my turn, let's do it right now. Okay, six up, right? It's, yeah, it's a six up. Where's my Nurgle dice gone? There, there it is. Step. Okay, on a six up, the surprise. To, uh, oh. I was going to say, it, I, was, I don't want to spoil it, but the last one, mine didn't come out. It did, yeah, it didn't. I was like, it's going to come out to one. <laughs> it's so true, but no surprise yet, it's still sleeping. As we go into the unending hordes, turn one. The eerie silence allowed every footstep to ring out across the walls of the medical facility's hive dome. It was evident that some great tragedy had transpired here. Dormant machinery and biovats were scattered among the deteriorated buildings that seemed to cultivate an almost impenetrable darkness within. As Greyfax and her retuin of custodies moved further into the abandoned facility, they were followed by glowing eyes that began to emerge from every doorway every window, and every alleyway. Then the droning began in earnest. New prey had entered, and the pox walkers were driven by the unending need to feed. The hordes have sprung from the dark places within the medical facility of Mobus Epsilon. Now, end of the moon phase here for the pox walkers, for the uh, unending tides of dead. And let me take you through what has happened. So we've sprung out of our locations, of course, um, in various different areas. We've actually advanced with these two units. There's no charging done here because I wanted to block off that access way for you. Um, I don't mind you chop someone up, but I wanted to slow you down. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I couldn't really have done much. It would have been really long charges. Over here, we advanced with this squad. Um, these guys are just burst out straight away from the doorway. So I'm within a few inches to charge them. But there's obviously two custodies there. Yeah, exactly. So. That doesn't matter, I'll throw them at you. These guys have moved up. Um, I think it's a five inch charge to get into that wounded custody fighting off the, um, what's left of those pox walkers over here. Mm -hmm. And then over here, we've moved out from the doorway here with the uh, last remaining unit pox walkers and it's a seven inch charge that Vexilla, which I will try and take my friend. Now, of course we get a CP at the start of every turn. Yes. I've already spent that one. They're gonna do the dead walk again. So okay. uh, there's four I lost here in this squad. One on four ups. They return. Okay. Just the one. One pox walk has returned. Not bad, not bad at all. So, with that being said, uh, that's the end of the moon phase. We're closing in the trap already. I believe you sp splitting up. I know. It's oh. going to be difficult, but yes. I'll try my best. You'll try your best. We'll see you in the charge phase. Brains. Starting the charge phase with the horde coming out of the doorway. You're going to charge a bunch of these custodies. Uh, yeah. So, uh, overwatch your way, sir. Yep, Don't remember. forget, like we mentioned at the start. Yep. Normal, normal ballistic skill yep. shooting. So, two to hits. And four to wound. One, two. Wound. one wound. Minus one damage, two. So you oh, he's, he's dead, dead anyway. anyway. He's That's dead anyway. one gone so yeah. far. And you're charging both, right? Yeah, I'm charging both. Okay, so two hits. Two hits. And one, one wound. wound again. You're always getting one wound. I know. Uh, damage two. Oh, come on. No. Oh. So, two of those drop already. You know, you take those from the front there. Um, let me see if I can get in. It's pretty much instant. The six will do it. I'll pull those in in a second. See if I can take some wounds off oh, here. What do you need? A five here? A uh, seven. A seven. Yeah. Okay. So watch. Uh, yep. 
take two shots, two hits. <laughs> one wound. One wound. <laughs> Standard. Um, no, that's another one. Drop there. One dead. Drop the box mortar. Um, and then over here. Oh, I need to see if I can go with it first. Seven, Nurgle's number. Oh, uh, I'm going to re-roll that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to re-roll for a CP. So down to... Down to four now. Four. I spent one earlier for the dead walk again. Come on, seven, Nurgle's number. Yes, yes. a nine, that'll do it. Those pox walkers are going to be... So are these in as well? That's the ones that are in, yeah. Ah, okay, I thought you rolled for those. No, I'm about to roll for this okay. one. I'm about to roll for this one, which I need a five. That's them in as well. Okay, so that's a lot of pox walkers coming in. Yeah. How are you feeling? It's good. Yeah, that's it. These advance, right? They advance and they, and they advance, advance and that's it. So okay. uh, nothing on this side of the board, just all action coming over here. So we'll catch you guys in a second for the fight phase coming up. Okay, the fight phase time. I just want to show you the pilings here. The way I see it with pox walkers is that they're like, they're not... Where are you going? Where are you sneaking I'm going to look, I'm going to look at that one. See how it's going. I, they're not, for me, they should be shambling hordes going forward. They're not going to be running around you. They're going to be going. They're just going to be heading towards you, like. <laughs> okay. So the way I've done it is I basically piled them into little blobs. I prefer. I think it's nicer that way than to go like right consolidate three and get around because pox walkers don't think like that. Okay. I understand in the normal forty k you would because it's game match. Fair but enough. this way I like them um, shambling through doors and getting a bit clumsy. So uh, comment below if you agree. Yeah. Yeah. So let's start off with the fight phase. I'm going to start off with the next sinner. I want him dead because I know you can interrupt for a CP. And go. Uh, yeah, um, I won't do it with him. I'll probably do it with the other one. With the wounded one. Yeah, wounded one. Yeah, I don't want the Vexilla. I want the Vexilla dead, basically. Okay. I'll get some wounds on him. Yeah. Um, so all of these bar one that can fit through the door here are going to be piling into him. So hitting on fours. Uh, ooh, wow, okay. These are hungry boys. Hey, girls. Who knows? Here we go. Fives now to wound. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's four wounds four. from the pox walkers. So two ups into the vexilla. He's gonna roll two ones. Oh, 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 oh. Are you gonna re-roll one of those? Um, how many wounds do they have? Four. Um, four no, the vexilla has five, so I'm okay. okay. I won't re-roll five. Are you? Oh, I guess for him for him for him. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll, so keep, I'll keep on three. Yep. Just because she has the extra wounds. Okay. Um, now I will pay a CP to attack. Okay. Um, yep. With this one first. Already. Um, Are you going to go into the fresh? Court yeah, it's the fresh one. Okay. So this best. It's on twos. Hitting on twos. And wounding on threes. threes. I think this. that's a fail. Yeah, that's a fail. So two okay. wounds. Go two straight wins. through. D3. First one. Um, uh, it's D3 damage. Oh, of course. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you haven't rolled any sixes. <laughs> any sixes at all. That's two dead. Um, Messi yeah. Cordia now. Yep. Um, Hit. Hits, yeah. Mm. And wounds. Okay. So. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's a quarter damage. Oh, damage two, maybe? Um, let me just quickly check. Oh. Do um, I need to roll this last one? No, it's just damage one. It's oh, just damage it survives! One. It's just damage one. Absolutely amazing. So, um, with that being done, then, let's go over here. And we have uh, two of the Pale Kin of the Shambling Dead. And then we have uh, one, two, three. One, two. Perfect. Into the, all into the one custodian in the front. Hitting on fours, uh, not as good as their um, rotting brethren over there, but wounded on fives, no, nothing, oh, absolutely nothing there. We've got these guys here. Now they're done. No, they've done. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they've you, done. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah I, I need to strike back then. Uh, I've got one more over here, the charging unit. Oh, okay. Then you yeah, strike back. Um, the charging so. unit and the, and the three that fight, remains? Yeah, you fight first though. Uh, four remain. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sure. So you fight first. Okay. So I've got uh, actually got three pale uh, walkers here. One, two, three. And then I've got two, two. Shamblers, two shamblers there. And I need one more dice in L pocket. I've okay. got one already. I'm using the Nurgle dice, of course. And your pesky rainbow nonsense. Uh, in, into the um, custody. No fours. That was pretty shocking. Oh, good guys. Not what I'm looking for. Your fresh zombies as well. If there is such a thing. Uh, one wound, right? This one wound? Yeah, yeah, it is. I can't two. see what that is. It's a two. Oh, right. you're okay. And now, then um, I strike first, you right? So, Astropath. One attack. Hitting on fives. No. No, okay. No, you're um, two, you two. can fight with the custodies again. I, I've already attacked, no? Yeah, but the, the, strat, the CP strat is, is a special attack. Okay. Okay, so you can fight with the custodies again. I mean, it's a custodies end of the day. Three hits. Ooh, two wounds. Two uh, or D3? Before I make that mistake again? Uh, yeah, D3. So first one. 
Okay, two. it's two. Uh, nothing. Two Here's again. Two. That's two Hawkswalkers slain out of that other squad. So I'll take uh, him and that one. Yeah, perfect. So there's two, two remaining. Um, so there's one Pale Kin onto the Custody, hitting on fours. And wounding on fives. Nothing. Yeah. And then there's uh, there's the one Pale Kin left onto the Astropath. Oh, yeah. And hitting on fours. Ooh, here we go. Wounding on. No, nothing. It's a two. Um, wounding on fours. Only on four, four, yes, yeah. So, um, so let me quickly check how much the Vexillia has. Oh, he gets to fight back, yes. Uh, four back. attacks, one, two, three, four. Four attacks coming in. Hitting on twos. Ooh, he misses. Wounding on threes. They got the jump on him, that's three, three of them. Ones. So, first one yep. is two. Two damage. Uh, ooh, ooh, close. Really? Yeah. That's one Second dead. one is two as well. And, oh, close again, two dead. And just one. Big six for Papa Nurgle. Um, no, that's a four. No good there. Um, so that's three cut down. Um, two, no? Was it? Was it? That's uh, three. Should be yeah. Okay. I believe so. And then pile in here. Yeah, pile in there. And then and your can, two custodians uh, get the fight. Attack at the same time. You do it at the same time. Yeah, might as well. So it's eight attacks, right? Uh, yep, it's eight attacks, and they are warden, so the um, Mr. Cordial comes for free. Okay. But that is a separate attack. So wounding on twos. Yep. Wounding on threes. Um, oh. Four wounds. Four wounds. Um, have I rerolled yet? I don't think no, so. No, so I'll reroll one of those wounds. Okay. Into fail. Of course. Obviously. <laughs> don't ever reroll the wound, people. Um, first Four one. Wounds. Yeah. At the time. Three is three. Uh, okay, he's dead. <laughs> uh, it's just one. Uh, big six? No. Two dead. And big three. Three dead. And just, one. just the yeah. one goes from three. Oh. I knew, I knew it. <laughs> goes from three to one. So like, when I get that one, you've got to pass it. So that's three dead, right? Yes. Okay, I'll take those three. Oops. And now, um, it's a coordinate. Get okay, you on twos. Okay. Two hits. Two hits. And two, two wounds. wounds. Oh, this could do it. Oh, oh, oh one survives. Ah, uh, brilliant. Hold you up for a turn at least. Um, so. Uh, with that being done, I think that's all the fighting. I think it is, yeah. Which means now, sir, every infected, um, oh, let's the other six fight. takes another wound. So, the custody. Oh, he uh, takes another wound! Oh, no. Down to one, as the infection spreads through his body, and then the astropath. Oh, close yeah. again! Well, that's it, right? No, the vexilla has been wounded. Uh, oh, it has, yes. Oh, no! It has, yeah. One of six! Oh, oh, down to two! I'm being very lucky here, very, very lucky. So uh, the wounds are dropping as the infection spreads. How many is it? Down to two? Down to two. Okay. There's a new variant. Um, you said he had four wounds or five wounds? Five wounds. Yeah, and you, yeah, didn't, down to two. you didn't save one either. Oh. So, uh, oh, thank you, sir. Put a little wound dice there. Wound dice there. There you go. That's it now for the Pox Walkers. Turn done. Uh, and then we go into your turn two. Turn two. Let's see how Mr. Pardo and Grifax um, can pull it out, try and get those data nodes, because the hordes will only keep coming. Alrighty, end of the movement phase here. Turn two for the Custodes and Inquisitor Grifax. She has moved up with her guard in front here to face the hordes that are starting to surround her. And then on the other flank, one of the Custodes has left um, his brother to squish the last yeah, box walker. So much thinking. <laughs> it's much more complicated than I thought. <laughs> um, to head over to try and get that node in time because yeah. you want to clog him up in combat. Yeah. On the right flank here, the astropath has stayed in combat despite me saying should you move him out, but Paul has a plan apparently. Yeah, I, I think he's he's okay in the psychic things. Like, yeah, I think I think I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. I think he's okay. Yeah, he's fighting the good fight. I need to kill as many as I can. Yes. If I fall back, the custodian just has four attacks plus one with the uh, Mr. Cordia. Yeah. So he, he by himself can't kill them all. So it means that you can then retaliate back. So I think, and he's on one wound as well. I need yeah. as much firing power, psychic you power. Do. You do. Stabbing as I need. <laughs> yeah. And then obviously the Vexilla is still battling what's left of those pox walkers. Yeah, I've stayed put because that's his objective, right? He needs yeah. to stay there he's on that forward. objective. And then uh, this one's fallen back or he yeah. hasn't fallen back. That's weird to say. No, he's um, re-engaged, yeah. should we say. So uh, I can't advance, obviously, but I've moved up his six inches. Uh, still going and he's just going to try and batter that um, little little guy. Yeah, watch little guy. Watch, right. him, watch him survive. Yes. Watch yeah. him survive. Watch him survive. So yeah. let's start off on the second phase. Yeah, so uh, Inquisitor, 
will do the some smites okay. into this unit. So smite into that unit. And that's a smite. Lovely. D3. Here's two. Big two. So sixes. Nothing. No, two so that's poxwalkers. Two slay. Can I choose? Yeah. I don't mind, right? I don't mind. Okay. Take so take you, there's one more attack on the There is, but I've been weapons. taking it random. Okay. Because, okay. Yeah, okay. That's what you do. Um, and then I'm going to go with the um, yeah. same type of powers I tried before. <laughs> <laughs> so I need a seven on this. Okay, I need a seven. Um, shall we check what the name was again? Um, Psychic Ash Maelstrom. Maelstrom, yes. Seven. That's it with a seven. Oh, again, okay. same role as before, I think, a six and a one. So no. on a two plus. Two plus. Okay, so <laughs> don't do this again. I need to kill them both. No, okay. okay so one slain. Yep. And then on a three up. On a three up. That's it. Okay. That's one. Six up. Yes. Oh, both of them are gone. He is now out of combat. That's it, out of combat. My He's, plan is working. He's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's Psychic Phrase done. We'll catch you guys with some, probably some shooting and some charges. Uh, any charges? Yeah, probably here, right? Yeah, charges. they're, they're going to charge. I'm, I'm going to try and like remove this unit with the shooting. Yep. And then uh, charge them. into them. Love yeah. it. Alrighty, catch you guys back in a second. Okay, shooting phase time. Inquisitor Greyfax is going to be raising her uh, weird crossbow of death. Condemmo. Condemmo. Bolt gun. Amazing. So, how many shots? Two uh, shots? Two shots. It's rapid fire one. So okay. Hitting on threes. But I do reroll um, because I'm chaos. Hit and two wounds against chaos okay. or, or psychers. Yeah. So two hits. Two hits. And then a strength force or wounding on fours. Wounding on fours. Rerolling as well to wounds. Because you hate chaos. Two wounds, minus one. So it's straight to yeah. and it's damage one. It's always going to be straight two. Okay. So that's. Um, okay. Yeah, that's two pop straight away. And now I really want to kill those two. I know you do. So they don't linger about. <laughs> so hitting on twos. That is. Uh, I'm going to reroll this one. Okay. Into a hit. That's two hits. And then force to wounds. No, oh, just one. Always one for you. Yeah. And uh, it's damage two, right? But he's dead. Damage two, yeah. He's dead twice over. Okay, I'll leave the whites. Um, ah, okay, yeah, leave the, the, the strain. Okay. The new strain, yeah. Um, and that's it. Everything else is in combat or has fallen back. Okay. Um, so yeah. straight on to charges. Charges, okay. So we're going in here. I know gonna... he's there, but I, I need to get as many attacks as I can into that squad. Okay, and so. Um, are you going to split them? No, I'm not going to split that. Okay. I'm going to go with everything. First one is the Custodian. Yeah. And then um, Greyfax. Nice. It's, well. it's, not, it's the correct move anyway, because I think you can just overwatch if you kill all of them. Yes. Start. And then and then like the movement towards obviously exactly. one of the nodes is closer as well. If I can kill them and consolidate, yeah. that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's it then. So we're getting on to combat. We'll start off uh, with the Vexilla. Coming up. Okay, Mr. Powder reminded me we have to start here. We can't Rem start over yeah, there. Yeah, remind you about 40k rules. <laughs> yeah, I'm just charges first, and then even then you strike before me because it's uh, we're already in combat. I'm just getting excited for the, my dungeon master mess of this game. I know. How many wounds was it again? He's got two, two left. Oh, man, I hate that. Too. Oh, I'm so excited okay. to kill him. Um, so I'm going to start with Greyfax. Okay, sure. Four attacks on her. Okay. Hitting on uh, threes as well. well okay. Good, but I fully reroll. Because in chaos. Yep. Uh, one miss. Okay, so three death. And uh, wounding on fours. Okay. Full rerolls. Full reroll because I'm chaos. Two, two wounds. Two wounds. Minus one. Minus doesn't matter. Damage I'm... two. Damage two. First one. And the second one. That's two, two slaves. Right? Okay, and okay. then we go on to uh, the warden. Of course. Hit you on twos. Hit you on twos. Always a miss. Always a miss. And wounding on threes. Two wolves. Your rolling has been uh, unfortunate yeah. so far. Two wolves. Um, uh, damage D3. Oh, okay. So that yeah. would have been just... Anyway, you failed. You yeah, failed, failed both. both and, and then D3 on the next one is three. Yeah, three actual two dice here in my hand. And that's another one dead. Okay, so three in total. Two, two still survive. Um, and that's it. That's all my attacks, my charging attacks. I yes. know, oh, one missing cord yet before I forget. Oh, of course. Which are stuck. Uh, <laughs> hits. Hits. And doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. Um, four. What's my no wait? I need to wound. I, my my base strength is three is five, isn't it? Ah, okay, three. Is yeah, yeah. So then? yeah, so that's a wound. That's uh, a go dead. Yes, yeah, another one dead. Yeah, just I need the bigger one. I like that model. <laughs> <laughs> the chunky boy. So uh, that's all. That's so now it goes into me. Uh, yeah, you can stri start striking back. I'm gonna do you want to do this one quickly? No, I want to fight the Vexilla. First? Yeah, okay. I want to fight the Vexilla. We've got... Um, just two, two normal and one uh, with the new strain. Okay, two normal, one new strain. Right here. 
Let's go for it. Come on, let's eat some Vexilla. Oh, alrighty. And now we need fives. Just two, but they're double sixes. The SN logo's there. Papa Nova wants oh, this. Two ups. Oh, he's okay. fine. Now, okay. I did forget that the that we have the uh, Vexilia Imperius, okay. um, which grants uh, the Vexilia Imperius models add one to their attacks characteristics while the unit is within six inches of any Vexilia Praetors with this Vexilia. So he should have had that one more extra attack last time. Ah. So I'm going to add it in now. Add it in now, of course. Okay, so That's four it. attacks yep. uh, plus one for yes. this turn's Vexilia <laughs> and one for last turn's Vexilia. Okay. So obviously you do have a couple more uh, to attack with, but yeah. I think narratively, uh, let's go for each combat, yeah, right? Yeah, let's do it. Hitting on twos and wounding on threes. And... <laughs> oh, two. What do you like? <laughs> no uh, comments. Uh, damage is, a, is something, right? But I roll both two. They're two or dead. Okay. The D3, I imagine, right? Uh, D3. But yeah. it doesn't matter. I rolled the two and they're both So, so one um, left. There's one left. Because you can't seem to wound. No. I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> tired, nervous, everything. <laughs> and so, do you want to go over there? You've got three three other oh, uh, combats, right? right? Yeah, I want to try and kill the one wound guy. Okay. Because that seems to make the most Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You, you're going to get attacked first anyway, so. So we've got one, two, uh, three of the new string. Yeah. The pale kin. And then we have uh, two normal. Two normals. Now, I don't think he's any normal while the pops walker, but still. Here we go, fours. Okay, let's take out those misses. And now, big fives. Two. Oh. More than what I need. Two ups. Two ups. Oh, oh. he's fine. Okay, so I strike back with yeah, you. You fight okay, back. So one, two, three, four. Three hits. Always a miss. Always a miss. And, and three wounds okay. at least. So G3 in the first one is three. Dead. The second one is two. Dead. And the third one is one which you pass. No. Oh, no, not this time. And okay. The, the uh, knife. Miss a code here. Twos and threes. That's a wound. Whoop. No, another one's dropped. Just one Poxwalker left over there. Oh dear, oh dear. And then lastly, the combat over here. Uh, oh, and one over there. And one there. So I'll do this one quickly. Um, one hit and one wound. He rolls a one. No. no, he's fine with a three there. Okay, so I quickly try and strike back. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I'm going to stab you with a misericordia first. I like that. Hits. Hits. Wounds. Wounds and... Oh, that's amazing. Just finishes him off. Now over here, I've got... Uh, two attacks. Two attacks from my chunky fella. Uh, one hit and... No wounds. Uh, that was going into the Inquisitor, sorry. Okay. Of course, I wanted to try and wound her to get now, her infected. Uh, now it's infectious. Just infections, yeah. Infections, yeah. So, so she's infected. He's infected. He's infected. Already, so, uh, on six the ups. No. No. And then over here, six up on oh. the Astropath. No. Oh. And then. In oh, no one's infected uh, further this turn. Okay. Um, as we go into um, my Not turn so, two. Yeah, so, we'll roll again, right? Yeah, this would be your favorite bit. Sadly. <laughs> so, uh, let's start over here. This corner, yeah. Okay, this corner. I need this one for reinforcements. No, oh. nothing. This, this corner. corner. Let's try and finish that Vexilla off. No! That corner? Oh, okay, at least we can try and hold one of the corners. Yes. yes. Okay, so they're coming here, and then in the central ground, yeah. from the big room, yes, more coming there. Um, and and that's just that one, yeah? Yeah, just that one. Yes, yeah. so some are coming there. Um, and we'll do the secret box. I can smell it. I can smell it. Smell some nerdly goodness. No, oh. the box remains. Okay, so we'll pour out more pox walkers and we'll catch you guys in a moment for um, my turn two. End of turn two here for the pox walker shambling hordes. And uh, not as not as impactful on this flank as I wanted. Good. <laughs> good. It's good for you. But um, it does mean that I'm holding off at least around here. So, Pops Walker shuffled out of the doorway around here. And then, again, pulled out of this one to attack that lonely one still trapped by the door. I have two units here. I've only really moved them, so I can potentially get a seven-inch charge on, on that um, Custodes there. And then, of course, the lone pale uh, wanderer 
and has come from behind there to try and took some more wounds. Yeah. Um, but that's about it. And obviously the next person in combat with that last remaining Poxwalker. So, um, nice and simple. Still turn two and you're not even near no I know, I know, I know. This one's quite near. Well, it's not near, but there's nothing like, yeah. is it going to stop me? Exactly. So, um, at least... But will the Vexilla be around by the time you get back? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's begin with the charge phase, nice and simple. I need a six here. Okay. Um, Can't talk watch, obviously, but yep. I am in combat. Um, it would have been closer, but that yeah. Fox has got in the way. So I have to go around. Six. Yes, and eleven will get them in. Shambling hordes. Just charging just him. I didn't want to charge the... Ashpath and fail, so okay. um, he's fine for now. Uh, over here, they're both seven inch charges. So the first squad that has been around since the start, they're hungry. They're not hungry. Do you want to reroll that um, one? I don't actually mind if I hold this like that. Yeah, it just um, makes me more difficult. Right? Yeah, and then same for this one. So I'll, I'll save my CP. They're in. Okay, so they're going to charge him, and then these guys are going to charge this guy, and they can't fail. Yeah. So those guys are in, and that's it. He's just oh. moves in, right? Yeah, he just moves in. Yeah, can't <laughs> fail it either. No, you can't fail. So we'll move these guys in, and then we'll get some, uh, you know, Bash num, and num, and just gums and stuff. And yeah, tickling. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right, phase coming up. Alrighty, the custodians are going to be using the Golden Strike CP stratagem. Yeah, I think it's the best. I, I just want to try and keep him alive. Like, yeah. you've got one Fox Walker. Um, so they both have to go. For, is it one of the new strike ones? No, no. So both have to go through. Both have to ward and they have to fail to up. So I don't think he's in trouble. But no. I think he's in trouble, especially with so many attacks. So yes. let's see if I can like okay. take, take a couple out. In terms of allocation, I, I guess you're going to put a lot in here and then maybe one in that. Ah, um... uh, yeah, there's one left. Yeah. yeah, right. So maybe just the knife. I'll, in I'll him. put the knife into him. Yeah, yeah I'll that put the knife sense. into him. Okay. So let's start off with the knife then. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. Doesn't wound. Oh, you have um, one CP left. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll re-roll that one. Yes, that's a wound. So D3. I oh, know this one's just, just one. one. So please don't don't do it. <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, the new stream dead. Yeah. But now the fresh squad. Four attacks. Four attacks. Four hits. Four hit. And we have threes. Uh, three wounds. Three wounds. So almost one missed. First one. Oh yeah, first one is three. Three. Uh, he's dead. Second one is three. three. Yeah. He's dead. He's angry now. And, and three. Wow. Wiped right, three. Wow. Yeah. Two. It was bam, bam, bam. Um, and now it's me, sir. Yeah. And do I just show yeah, let's just again. do here. So, so two, four, six, eight attacks. With, um, there's no new strain. Six, eight. Yeah, new, no new strains. And going into the one remaining. Hitting on fours. So far. Hitting on fives. Two wounds. Two wounds. <laughs> oh, no. And I've rerolled already. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, silly boy. Oh, one at a time. One at a time. Oh, that's a six. And... Oh, I oh. saw the one. I saw the one. That's scary. Okay. Now. Mental notes. Don't re <laughs> re roll silly stuff. <laughs> now, we'll go over here. Um, and I've got... We'll start with this combat. Okay. Um, this poor custodian just being battered by the hordes after horde. I've got two of the uh, new strain, the pale ones. And then I've got uh, one, two, three, four in combat. One, two, three, four. So... Let's see if I can infect this one. Deep in the hive. Okay. Uh, not too bad. Not bad. Not, not bad. bad. They are hitting quite well. Yeah, they're doing pretty yeah. well. My Poxwalker babies. Um, one wound. Yeah, That's all I need. Oh, oh you want to come off? No, he's totally fine. Okay, so you fight back there. Uh, yep, you strike back. Yeah. So, four. In the moment hits. combat. And you're going to miss one. Uh, miss two this Ooh, time. Okay. So, D3. Yep, first one is three. Okay, he's definitely dead. And three again. And then three again. He is definitely dead. Two dead. Mr. Cordia is a hit. Yes. And a wound. And a wound. Okay, so, so three dead. Three dead. Clink, clink, clink. Okay, three pox walkers down. And then over on this side. Uh, you have strike then. So. We do. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five in combat. Okay. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, mashing and gnawing up your golden armor on fours. Oh, quite a, get, quite a lot come through there. Hitting away, but can they get through the armor? One wound. So one of those claws just gets through perhaps a little gap. Plus, and it's a save. You know what I've just remembered? Yeah. That Loris, uh, sorry, Loris, no, Wardens have uh, ignore wounds on six ups. Ah, uh, we'll roll for him then. Yes. Of course, roll for all these guys. So um, he's lost three, but obviously one of them was from the 
uh, contamination, wasn't yes. it? Yes, so, let's double count it. Yeah, so he, lost, it. he lost two. Nothing there. Because uh, he has two in his total, right? Uh, yes. So he yeah, lost two. Um, and then your Vexilla has um, lost three. Three, yeah. So let's see, any sixes? No, no okay. okay. It's good. That's good. It's all good. That's good. It's um, all good. Now we go into this uh, this one, right? So he charged first. He did three attacks. So three there attacks from the pale him. one, uh, one hit, and Five, ooh, was a wound, wound on the custody. No, no. And then I attack first. Yes, because uh, he was in combat already, right? That's yes, true. So custody, I'm gonna go, uh, Mr. Cordia, into the big guy. Okay. And then uh, fails do it, <laughs> and then four attacks into the pale one. The pale one. Three hits. Yeah, and no wounds. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's not good for you. Nothing I can do. You can and do then uh, Greyfax, four attacks. She has to kill him to be able to move. Uh, re rolls uh, for Chaos. Yes. Uh, Two hits. Yeah, three, three hits. hits. And uh, force to wound. Re rolls for Chaos. Three wounds. Three wounds. So damage, to, damage to a pop. Anyway, wait, wait, so. wait, 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 wait. Um, you, yeah. Oh, damage to each. Damage to each. Oh, yeah. so boo. Right. Well, yeah. So she's free at least. Yes, she's That's free. A shame I, I, I'm not free from that one. I love that though. Yeah. Like, imagine narratively he's fighting off that pox walker. She's like, she's going to run through it, but then what's lurking? Yeah. What's lurking further down? She smashes against another one. Yeah. Like, oh, no. <laughs> um, you do have to. I attack first there. Yeah, you attack yeah. first. I like um, doing the Mr. Cordia first. Okay. Slashing throws yeah. is my thing. <laughs> And whoa! Hey, all righty. So uh, four attacks bounces off. Two or just he sticks the knife in and doesn't do anything. One wound. D three, D three, D three. D three. At least I got that. Here we go. You ready? Do it. Sixes. Oh, I saw one. One's impressive enough. So, right. Oh yeah. He's yeah. gone. So the Vexil is free. You can have a little bit of a break. And finally, I've done them. Uh, that's it, that's it. That's everybody's attacked. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, everybody's attacked. I don't think they attacked back with him, right? No, I don't think you did, because there's a fresh squad right there. Okay, so twos. Four hits. Okay, and then threes. Three wounds. Finally. Four wounds. So G3 is four. Uh, two. <laughs> two, sorry. <laughs> One dead. Two. Two dead. Two. Three dead. Two. Four dead. Okay, okay. nice. He's done his business. And there's a misericordia. Here's a hit. A hit. And another that wound. Wounds. Okay, so how many? Four, four dead. Yeah. Okay. Four dead there. Wow, so we're taking the battering, but we're still in the fight. Still doing our stuff. Um, That's it, right? Else? Yeah, now just the infections. Yes. <laughs> Infection time. Back over here, please, sir. Okay, let's start with the um, astropath. No, let's. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't do it. No! Oh, no! Wait, on a six up, I, I, I oh, ignore you do, it, yeah. Right? Six up, you ignore it. No. Oh. Okay, so he becomes a pop walker. Wow. Let's pull this one. He's gonna stand here. One of the custodies is down, taken down deep in the hive. Oh, how do you feel? No oh, episode so on. Sad. That's my first casualty. Yeah, claimed your first casualty here, and he's now pop walker, and he's gonna turn around and munch probably on the. His friend, the extra pack. Um, and then, oh, don't forget the next yellow. Oh, yeah, that's oh, true. He's yeah. also he's, wounded. He's infected, yeah. He is infected. So, six up. No, he's okay, fine. So he's okay, fine. no more wounds from him. Um, now, that's it. So it's on two. And turn three. Greyfax is turn, turn three. three. Okay, let's see if you can get to that node. Oh, tough. <laughs> Catch you guys in a second. The battle continues here uh, as the basically all the custodians have stayed in combat. Um, except for obviously the Vexilla. Now he consolidated after his move and moved around here. This doorway so is after his uh, exactly. after his attack. His attack, yeah. exactly. And then moved to six. So. Yeah. So now he's in the doorway advanced. there. Um, I just need extra support on that. I know I, he's still going to be close to the uh, main um, communicator. Yes. So he's okay. I think he's so. okay. But there's too many fox walkers there to leave the astropath by himself. <laughs> And the astropath has moved closer to yeah, the nose here. Up, he's fallen back, right? No, no, he wasn't in combat. No, he wasn't in combat, so I can move an extra six then with him. Yes, yeah, yeah. And um, I can I'll just advance him then. Yeah, of course. I thought he was in combat. It's oh, cool. no, he wasn't. So, he's nice. Just get around there. there. We're close to the node. Yep. But he is very, very injured. He's, but he's doing it for the Emperor. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, like he's going to stay in combat. So now it's just the psychic phase. Yeah. Um, um, 
Grey fat. Oh, she. Sorry, she. Uh, she advanced. advanced. Yeah, she advanced. But she can smite. Yes. So she's target is that box walker. Yes. So it would be actually quite good. Now. Because then you can probably do a long bomb charge this way. Perhaps. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move him then. I know that. If you fall back, you won't be able to charge. Yeah, that's there. true. So I'll stay. I'll stay here. I'll, I'll, guard, I'll guard this area here. Yes. Um. So yeah, smites. Okay, smites. That's it. That goes through. And D3. That was a four and six, by yes. the way. D3 is the big three. Ooh, that's what big I wanted. Three. Um, I won't be able to save that. Yeah. So he is gone. I can just shoot with him now. Uh, of course. Uh, but I can't see that squad. And they're all in combat, so there's not much I can shoot anyway. What's the distance of the weapon? Uh, 24. So you might be able to shoot them, but that's no, probably quite I far. Think, I think it's too, too far. Okay. And then we're going to go Psychic Maelstrom uh, with him. Okay. Ah, but I've advanced. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Seven. <laughs> Uh, no, I've got a free CP. You do. Um, which I'm going to use. Oh, okay. yeah, And I'm targeting this unit, by yes, the way. Yes, of course, the big squad. No. no. Okay, never mind. But worth a shot. Yes. Um, now we'll go into the shooting phase. There's not too much. Probably just the Vexilla. Yes. But uh, nonetheless, we'll see you guys in a second. All right, into the shooting phase now. We're going to Vexilla firing into the big squad. Yep. Only thing that's going to shoot is the rest is either yeah. combat or uh, out of uh, line of sights. One hit. One hit, of course. One wound. One wound, damage two. Yes. Uh, that's a better one anyway. Um, and that was the one on his own? Yeah. Okay. Because you can shut up. The custodian, basically. Yeah. Custodian's on. Oh, I finished him like, I'm sorry, brother. <laughs> ah, so cool. Right, okay. So with that, let's go into the charge phase. Yes. Um, do you want to long bomb him? Are you happy to him stay there? Um, I'm, I'm, I think he's in a good position. Yeah. Um, you oh. basically spin around at this point and... Yeah, I, I, I'm actually going to try and charge into here and help him out. Okay, sounds like a plan. Uh, Wait. Actually, might. I've got. I've got my tape measure here. Yeah. Here we go. Don't think so. No. No. Need a ten. Actually. Need a ten. Um, no CP, so can't re roll. Nope. And, and then um, Vexilla. Vexilla. Yeah. I think we need like a four or five. Let's do that here. Um, that'll do that. Yeah, that's that's a nine anyway. So. Um, Pop his banner underneath, and then he's in there. So. How many was he on left? Two, right? Yeah, two remaining. So he goes first. He does. You want to go straight into it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Go into it. So he gets his extra one for being uh, holding yeah. the Imperial standard. Hit so, all threes. Two oh, hit. And uh, wounding all threes. Uh, four four wounds. Yeah. Okay. That could do it. So could first do it. one. Our first one is three. Is three. He's dead. Second one is one. Four. Don't do it. No. Third one is three. He's dead. And three again. Okay. Three again. Yes. Okay, so that's the squad. Wiped out. Removed. Nice. Okay. Nice. All I need now is nothing to come out from this again. And, uh, <laughs> and I'm in a good position. Yeah, good position. To, to try and... Uh, yes, exactly. I'll try. Yeah. So, uh, into combat now. Yeah, you would start. I would start. I'm going to go for this one. Okay. So I've got the just one of the pale strain remaining. And then uh, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, that are in combat. So we're hitting on fours. That was pretty awful. Wounding on. Ooh, two wounds. Two, wounds. two ups. He's fast. fine. Okay, do you want to strike back, back? Yeah. It's not the order of things, but that's how we're doing it here. Uh, three hits. Uh, three wounds. Three wounds. Three. three. Is three. First one. Dead. Is two. Ooh. Ooh. And one. And one. Come on, another six. No, no, so two, two dead. dead. Uh, Mr. Cordia. Mr. Cordia is a hit. hit. And is a, a wound. wound. No, so just the one remaining. Okay. I'll leave the pale one. The strongest strain. Oh, no, I didn't want one to wipe out. And then you've got this, these guys, right? I've been two, lucky four, so far. Six six wounds. Yes, six attacks here from the uh, six normal. Six attacks, yeah, sorry. Right, six attacks here into this remaining. Uh, Wow, okay, so all but one, and now can we sink our teeth? That is two wounds, just need a one here. That's it. Two, uh, so one goes He two. takes a wound, okay, so he's down to uh, two. two. But he's infected now. But he's infected, and that's actually all we need to do. Yeah, that's how the other one got finished. That's how the other one got finished. So, let's uh, let's see him. Yeah. Fresh infection. Oh, oh he drops yeah. another ah, wound. Wait, do I, um, oh, yeah. First of all, do I... Um, ah, yes. Do first I, of all... Uh, ignore the wound first. You no. don't. And now do I ignore the infectious? You do. Yes, do. Oh. So he's down two. Okay. Two remaining. Down um, two remaining. Astropath. Astropath. Yes. Is infected already. Oh. No. no. And then lastly, he's infected already. the Vexilla. 
No, okay. okay. You got lucky then. Yes. You got real lucky. Uh, you attacked here, right? Yep, all done. Okay, all so done. I haven't attacked back then. No. So, twos. Okay, there's three of them. And oh! look at her wounds. He's suffering. And then... Mr. Cordia? Yep. Uh, wounds. Wounds and. Yes, so yes. Well, one one down. So, there's only two remaining now. Okay. Um, but again, unfortunate rolling from Mr. Pardo. The custodies oh. are just. Maybe it's really dark. Oh, they can see in the dark anyway, yes. right? Must think as well, right? You've got stinky. two stinky yeah. zombies just trying to lick your face. <laughs> um, so now you have to uh, roll again, right? We do, yeah. Okay, so time to roll off. Let's start off with. Just that rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah rinse and repeat up in this top left corner. Yes. Oh no. Oh, that's not good for you. This one. This one. No. no. Then your corner. <laughs> so close. Yes. Yes. Toxinwalkers come out to eat him uh, in the center here. Yes, more coming out and then last. Is there in there? <laughs> Endless. Nothing in that one. Okay, so again, we'll put the pox walkers on. Um, and then I will do this for my turn. Yes. Six. No. It remains hidden away. So, uh, yeah, more pox walkers coming on. The hordes are still pouring out of the medical facilities here, deep within the hive of World of Epsilon. All right, end of the turn here. Two, three, four. The pox walker hordes and uh, more have poured out, of course, out of there. Uh, we moved up here so we can get a charge off. Over on this flank, further back there, the Inquisitor is now besieged by more pox walkers, and this poor wounded astropath, already infected, has more coming around the corner to eat him. Um, obviously, now I'm just going to go straight into my charge phase. Yeah, yes. And we're going to go into it. So uh, here, I probably need like four, I believe. Um, an eight will do it. Yep, more than enough. That'll get those guys in. Um, the, the Inquisitor's practically in, but we're in there, of course, as well. We're gonna surround no! her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. so close! <laughs> so close, but not close enough. And then anything but double one here against the Astropath, and they're in as well. Brilliant. So, we've got these guys as well. Oh, yeah, the little, the, there's coming out the doorway into the, him again. Just want to bog him down with more and more. That's them again. Okay, so. We'll move all these guys in and we'll get to the fight phase. Coming up, starting off the fight phase now, I'm going to eat this Astropath um, as we've got all these attacks coming in. Hitting on fours. And then wounding on fours. Oh no, one wound. That's all I need. Just the one wound, sir. Uh, you have a six up save, I believe, right? Okay. Six up. Clutching his grievous wound. The astropath stumbled towards the data node interface. The deep bite mark on his arm had already begun to transform him into something altogether different, but he was still human, for now. His faith in the Emperor pushed him forward in an unflinching sense of duty. He knew his time was fast approaching, but he could still prove useful to Greyfax. I have discovered a data node! in the southwestern section of the facility, the astropath shouted into his vox link. I can activate the... by the great throne! What's up? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking what I'm doing next. <laughs> okay, oh. so that's him gone. He's wiped out, does he? What is it? He, he, come, he, he turns a pox walker. Straight away, right? Straight away, yeah. Okay. He becomes a pox walker. So we need to so put one... Uh, we'll get one now. Yes, we'll, we'll leave him. We'll leave him on the floor like this. Yes, and, and let uh, him get ravaged, yeah. munched on a little bit. No, 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 no. Okay, so um, do you want to? Do you have any CP? No. Okay. No CP. no CP. So we'll go. So I can't uh, use my. You can't strike. We'll go straight into this one then. So we've got uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen attacks. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, nine. More in my pocket. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hit it on fours. And then wounding on fives. Big fives. Just the one. Just what? This one was this one, right? I uh, know it's that oh, squad. That one. Okay. Yeah. Two up. He's the totally pass. fine. And then these guys, right? And then these guys, there's yeah. There's two squads here. There's uh, four attacks from that side. Oh, oh, no, yes. but I would attack. I would attack first, right? I did all the same time. There was one on his own there, right? In the last one. Uh, yes, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. Uh, but you can do these guys before I would strike back. So. Yes. Okay. So three here, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attacks. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine from the zombies. Ten, ten, from him. Oh, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. From the zombies in grabbing range. Uh, ooh, couple hits there. Nice spread. I'm getting very lucky with my hits. And then we're on fives. We've only got ooh, three okay, wounds. four wounds. Okay. So two ups. He's totally oh, just fine. about. Okay. Uh, I strike back before you. Yes, sir. So I'm going to go for these two, just for you not to strike back. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, two hits. Of course. Uh, no wounds. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And the Miss <laughs> And the Miss Cordia? Uh, and the Miss Cordia. Hits. Okay. Doesn't wound. Doesn't wound. Okay. And then the, uh, I might as well do hit yep. quickly. Uh, Miss Cordia into the one, I, I imagine. Yes. Uh, um, two wounds. Two wounds. D3 is two. Two. Dead. And one. And one. It doesn't matter. One, okay, dead doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. I miss a to the single guy. Is it hits? Uh, is it into wound. wound? Okay. So, so he well, remains. Yeah, he remains. And then lastly, uh, these guys, yeah. We've got two of the pure strains in the Inquisitor's face. She's in trouble here. And then we have uh, two more, three more within uh, fighting distance. So this many attacks going into. Let's see if we can get the Inquisitor and end this all. Hitting on fours. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Nurgle wants this to happen. Um, strength? Chapter three. Chapter three? Yeah. So fours to wound. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Two wounds. Okay, so three ups. Uh, she one wound. Takes a wound. So she is contaminated. Uh, she is infected, yes. Yeah. Uh, and that's it for combat. That is it. Yeah, I, I need to strike back with her. You do? So four attacks. Four attacks. Hitting on threes. Re rolling. Because I'm stinky chaos. And wounding on fours. Re rolling. Re rolling. Lovely. Uh, three wounds. wounds. Damage two upon. Okay. First one dead. Second one dead. Ooh, six is though. Third one dead. Dead. Okay. Three dead already. Um, but she is infected on a six up. No. no. Okay. So she's taking a wound, but she's still infected over here on a six up. Nothing, and then finally the Vexilla. Yeah. On a six up, I will get you, Vexilla. No, nothing there. But his friend is uh, now a pop smoker. I know. <laughs> a white one as well. A white, white one. Yeah. He got the pure strain. Yeah. Um, that's the end of the turn for me. And it goes into turn four for the Custodes. It's looking grim, sir. It is looking grim. I, I really need to think about what I'm going to do now. You do. <laughs> Alrighty, turn four, and all to play for, the nail-biting moment. Uh, Inquisitor Greyfax, she has finally reached one of the nodes after yes. uh, moving past the Poxwalker hordes. Yep. And so, uh, basically, now, oh, we need to see if you roll. Get the yeah, game. so, uh, it's turn five four. up, four up, it's two up, it's two up, it's yeah, four. because it's turn four. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, I've fallen back, it is an action, but we explained at the beginning that uh, I could still fall back. And still uh, try yeah. and declare one of the nodes. I look, I look at it. I always think of it like Necromunda. It's kind of like you can do actions open doors. Exactly. And all that kind exactly. Of stuff. Yeah. Just in case you know, there's the naughty people that missed the intro. Yeah, yeah. No so uh, two up. Already okay. the data is being intercepted. I saw one there. <laughs> so okay, so that's one down. That is one still down. Very tricky. The problem is that if that one wouldn't have come in. I would have got into that. So nailed it. Shall I explain what I'm thinking? Okay, yeah. Explain so um, he advanced up. Uh, all the way from here, um, just because I'm thinking if I can get into one more node yes. in my turn five, yes. I can do both the action for the node yep. and the action to call in, and I can maybe do it on turn five. I so like okay. basically, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get things into uh, range to shoot yes, next course. turn, and then try and just kill as many as I can yes. uh, with him, and then move and have someone there ready to... Uh, calling for backup, basically. I like so, that. Okay. Yeah, he stayed put. He's just having fun there. He's already wounded as well, so he's probably shouted to his, shouting to his brother. Yeah, just, just, go fact, <laughs> just go, leave me. <laughs> it's very dramatic. That, that, that moment in every film, yeah. in every series where he <laughs> fights off for the others to escape. Beautiful. What an ending. Um, okay, so with that, um, we go into the psychic phase. Uh, oh no, you've done actions. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Okay. Just allow that. To, if we can fall back and do uh, action. Exactly. I, I fell back anyway, so yes. I can't do any psychic. Oh, of course, of course. So shooting. Okay. Um, he advanced. He's fallen back. He can't shoot. So it's just um, the Vexilla. The Vexilla, which doesn't have. Ah, yes, he does. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm gonna go into these guys. <gasps> Oh, no, I'm just going to shoot him. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Yeah. Wounding on threes. Uh, wounding on fours. Strength four. Strength four. 
You sure? Yeah. Um, got to reroll there. Got a CP. I'm going to reroll. That's all. Uh, that's him. So, Two uh, damage. He's dead. That's it, yeah. Uh, okay, so. Um, we can carry on recording. Yeah. It's quite a couple of simple charges. Yeah. So, obviously, these can't charge. Nope. But, um, but he can. He's going in. So he's in. All right, he is very much in. So if I, if I can try and kill as much as I can from there, yes, I can then fall back in my turn. Yes, five. Yes, hopefully roll a two, <laughs> and then have someone in my turn to hopefully roll uh, a two as well on that side. Yes, calling for backup. So calling for backup. Yeah. Of Remember that on turn five, it's not automatic. You still have to roll a two up as well. Yes. Yes. So okay. Yeah. So it could at the very very end. Uh, do it. Yes, of course. Well, don't forget, you don't need to roll that. I just said um, it's automatic. When you oh, get okay. here, what you have to be within. No, yeah. it's, it's the nodes only. That's the nodes, you get mixed up. So it's, that one, you just touch it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but you have to obviously get the data first. Yeah. So, uh, combat time coming up next. All right, combat time. We're starting off with the Vexilla. Hitting on twos. <laughs> All hits. Wounding on threes. <sighs> Always. Always. So three go through, T3 is uh, one. One. Second one is two. Two. And third one is two again. Two again. Oh, okay. so let's take down three at least. Take down three. So I, I just want the minimum attacks coming back into me. Of course. Uh, because I don't want to lose that one wound or maybe the two, but if I lose that one wound and then get yes. mortally wounded, it's yeah. going to be, it's not going to be very it's nice. It's not going to be good. Yeah. Okay, and don't forget Mr. Cordia. Uh, Mr. Cordia, yeah. So stabbing. Stabbing. Uh, that's a wound. That's a wound. So one damage. And he's... Ooh, that's another one. Good as well. So that's uh, three attacks. So it's a little blur there. Yeah. Three attacks with six going in. Six going in, yeah. There's no... Um, no pure strain. No I'll just remove the pure yeah. strain. Um, and then... Fives. Nothing! Oh, oh. Oh. That's good news. That's um, not, it's not good news. Now, it's your, you would attack first. Yes, okay. There's a lot of attacks. We can do them all together because you would know. We would take it in turns, wouldn't we? Uh, we would. So, three, six, uh, sorry. It was same 14 as last time, right? Yeah, so three. You would pile in a bit right now. Let's do that at least because they would, they would start clawing forward. Start clawing forward so everybody can attack. So, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 attacks. Do you have enough dice there? I think so, yeah. Okay. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17. Okay. Okay. Hiya. Pause. Um, I'll just take the hits. Yep. Move these misses to the side. Another miss there. And then fives. Wow. Um, nothing. Okay, so I strike back. I'm going to strike at those little two um, before they strike me. Of course. Uh, three, that, hits. three hits and three wounds. Three wounds. First three one. The first one is one. He's I fine. I knew that was going to happen. Three. <laughs> I like those threes. You like those threes. Dead. And, and another oh, one. No. Another one. No. Yes. So they yes, that's gone. Three. It's removed and that finishes off. I'll let you put your dagger in. You didn't have to chuck your dagger into one of those. Oh yeah, that's very true. I would have, I would have put the cobble in there. Exactly. exactly. With four Just... attacks, right? Exactly. Um, that's no. a wound. <laughs> Um, that's yeah. it. So that's it because uh, no, you, have you, 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 you already attacked. I did, right? yeah, I did. They were rubbish. So um, infection time. Infection time. So shall we start here because that one's more important, okay. isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Six. No. no. And uh, six over there. Six over here. No. Oh, and the Grey Fax is infected as well. I forgot about her. Yeah. She's infected. Six. No. no. <laughs> Close though. She's, and she's um, hurt. She's hurt. That's it. And you do have to roll for this, right? Of course. I want him to come out. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. No. no. Nothing's okay. coming out. No, he's Nothing sleeping. He's is, hibernating. He is hibernating. Yeah. He is indeed. Um, but and that's it. Your turn four, right? Remember, you activated this this turn. Yes. Oh no. Something yes. is happening within the war. Oh, that's true. Strange things are occurring. We'll get you back in a second. The stale air became agitated. A sickly green mist started to pool around the base of the data node. This was no burst pipe or leaking coolant valve. The growing smog had a will of its own as it formed a portal of wet slime. The sound of a rusted bell toll sounded out into the ruined building. 
the echo seemed to resonate deep within the swirling portal of gangrenous slurry. Moments later, the first demonic entity broke into reality. The minions of Nurgle had arrived. The plague bearers had come to collect what was due to their master. Seven. Seven of the plague bearers, Nurgle's number, have arrived to reap the toll. If you want the data, you must pay with your soul. Um, it's also called seven and seven inch charge because the seven inches away. Exactly. Made it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'll be doing that on my turn, of course. Yeah. Uh, they've just come in now for thematic purposes, but uh, I love this, the, the Inquisitor Grey fact as well. She hates chaos, and then Nurgle have sent his demons <laughs> so cool. from the warp coming in. So uh, we'll see what happens now. Um, oh, and don't forget, we need to do actually the roll off for, um, each where, for, for the, where yeah. they come for your turn. Yeah. Let's do that now. Okay, let's quickly roll off here for some nerdy goodness. This is the one I need now. I need to bolster this one to stop him getting through. No, please! Ah, oh, the Emperor protects, perhaps. That's, that was the important one. That was the important yeah. one. Uh, let's do it over here because it's boring. Nothing. <laughs> uh, more hordes in the center ground. Yes. Nothing! Oh, finally! <laughs> the horde has stopped over there. <laughs> over here? Yeah. With Greyfax, of course, okay, more boring there. She is, she is in trouble. <laughs> she's in a lot of trouble. She's in trouble. And then lastly, in this corner, uh, nothing! Oh my word! That is not good at all for me. Um, but let's see if I can eat the Inquisitor at least. Yeah. Um, as we go into now my movement phase, Your turn four. Four. Yeah. Things are looking grim for poor Inquisitor Greyfax. She is surrounded by all sides as the hordes descend through. I don't know if the side can the door because it looks so much cooler. Yeah, it does look better. <laughs> she is completely surrounded. We're going to start off with um, these two units here. They can't really fail, so they're going to charge. I'll start moving them. Thank you, sir. Uh, they're both in. And then the all-important seven charge. Will Nurgle get his soul? No! Oh, you do have a uh, CP step. I will reroll. Yes. Because this is too fun. Yeah, Yay! Just seven! And the seven as well. That's Nurgle's number. Okay, so... Oh, she is in trouble. Let's just do that. Wait, yes. Shall we take this off? Yeah, the node is gone. Yeah. And then she is now surrounded by the hordes of Nurgle. And then over here... My only other charge is... That one, right? Yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Can't um, really fail. Can't really fail, but they're in. Uh, or you can overwatch. Ah, uh, yes, it could. It's true. So you overwatch. Yep. You won't kill them all, so just throw them in. I think we forgot that last time, right? Uh, no, everybody was in combat. Oh. This is the first time something has been in combat. Two hits. Two hits. One, uh, one wounds. As always. And... Ooh, we'll pass. Uh, but it's damage two. It stays damage two. Ah, so one dead. Dead. One is taken down, and Greyfax could have actually watched as um, well. Okay, so uh, two shots, I prefer. And then uh, no wounds. Okay, so that's that. Let's go uh, into combat. Yes. Uh, coming up. Surrounded on all sides, and we're going to start off with the Plague Bearers, because I want her gone. One attack each. One attack each, really? Yeah. There's two attacks for a champ. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. One attack each, but the hit no fours. Um, one hit. And then the wounded on threes with the reroll because there's a plague weapon. <laughs> Absolutely nothing bounced off of her. Okay. Um, then we've got. Six guys. Yep. Right? So there's six so the two pure strains followed by. Uh, two more. Two more. Yeah, so uh, four more, right? Four more. Yeah. So hit on fours. Oh my. What is going on? There was just three. And then um, fours. Two wounds. Two wounds. Three ups. The Emperor protects. What is going on? And then you've got three, yep. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 15 attacks. Fifteen. Three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then that's it. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Now. She must die. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's better. That's that's incredible. But this happened before, and then you spent two This more. is true. This is four. Oh, uh, um, not bad. Four. Four, right? four wounds. One she wound. only takes one. She's down to three. She survives. Okay, let me strike back, right? I thought no, she was I, dead. I want to kill some... Um, plague bearers. Plague bearers. Yeah, yeah. okay. So, we rolling. Yeah, all we'll hit. And then... Uh, toughness is four, right? Yes. As well. We we rolling. rolling. Uh, three wounds. Three wounds, five of demon save. Save Whoa, two, but she takes slain. one with her. Okay. Um, but she's fighting on. I know. That's she's unbelievable. Nice. Right. Um, 
Now you attack here, right? I do. Yes, and then I strike first. Yes, you do over there. <laughs> okay, so I've got uh, here two pure strings. I've got uh, three normal pox walkers. And then a barrel is just actually yeah. squashed. Yes, my... one pox walker less. <laughs> Literally squashed him. Um, I will take one off there just for funds, just for that. Yeah. <laughs> squashed on the side. Um, okay, so a couple of hits there, and then wounds, just two wounds on that custodies. Not enough. Fine. Uh, he's totally fine. So now um, um, my attempt to strike, right? Yeah, you strike over here. I don't mind if he dies. I no. think it's more important for them to strike. I've just lost the fox walker. Yeah. So, squash. <laughs> hitting on twos. Hitting on twos. All three I, missed, I missed with two. <laughs> and three wounds. Three wounds. So, first one yeah. is one. One. No, dead. The second one is three. Three. Dead. Okay, that's it, right? Yeah, and do the last one anyway. Okay. <laughs> two. two. Just in case that one comes Yeah, it comes crawling from underneath. I just want to make it fair for it, but yeah. Gone. Um, that is not good for me at all. That's good, because that means that I can um, yes. try and do an action on that and one. Take it swap. Watch me roll that too. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling people that this is gonna work. probably good what's going to happen. Yeah, right? gonna roll that so one. get your hopes up. Um, and then uh, it's your time to attack here. Yeah. It is, okay. So 2, so. 4, 6, 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 attacks. Okay, I think that was all my dice, right? Uh, so 3, should be 6, 9, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, yeah, 17. Oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, fours. Wow, okay. I I seem to be rolling hot and cold with constantly. my fox walkers constantly. Look at that. And then fives now. Two. Yeah, two wounds. Two wounds. <gasps> oh, oh, he's dead! Six up. <laughs> six up. Oh, yes! he lives on a wound! Oh, that was lucky. Ah, oh, but he's still infected. Yes. Which means it's um, infection I, time. I attack back first. Oh, of course, yes. Um, you, did you attack here? Yes, I right? did, did nothing. So I'll attack with him first. Yep. Twos and uh, threes. Two wounds. Two wounds. First one is two. Two. Dead. Second one is three. Three. Dead. So stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. One wound. He lives. Oh, so just two, two, right? I think. Well, uh, no, it was this one. one. It was this side. Oh, sorry, it was sorry, over there. Yeah, it was over there. Sweet fact, here. Now this one. Uh, three hits. Okay. Three wounds. Three wounds. First one is one. One. Second one Ooh, is big three. three. Oh, close. Third one is one. Three dead. Ah, three stabby, dead. stabby. Hits. Wounds. Four dead. Four dead. Okay. Wow. And obviously, there's no leadership, guys. Just in case. It's a bit late to say it now, but if you haven't played uh, Fox Walkers, they're mindless, so yeah, they don't need they to are. suffer uh, immune to morale. Now, you can't kill him. No. But I could eventually get him to a Fox Walker. Yeah. Yes! He takes Is another he? wound. He's oh, down wait, to wait, one. I know. Yeah, he has to use... Oh, he gets a feel, he gets a feel he gets of pain. pain. Don't know, I don't think so. It's, I think we did it. I don't think he's a warder. Doesn't matter. I need to check. Yeah. He does anyway. Uh, and this guy. Oh, don't do that now. No. Oh, but he's got one wound remaining. Okay. Nothing I can do if I move there. And lastly, oh. Greyfax, she's, she's still got the poison running through her. Oh, that's true, yeah. Six up. Nothing. No. Okay. Nothing. That's okay. Good. That's good. Oh, that means um, on to your turn. Yes. But, did I do this? Yes, it's now on to turn five. Yeah. This is where he comes out. <laughs> No, oh, the creature still remains. Okay, um, let's see what Mr. Parlo can do. Nail biting. Clearly, the facility is overrun by the Walking Dead and the dominion of Nurgle within. Now, um, the battlefield is strewn with bodies of Foxwalkers everywhere as you have blasted and murdered. Would love to know. Would love to have a counter. And I'm not going to do this. <laughs> counter of how many Foxwalkers have actually Yeah, killed. exactly. Yeah. How many butchered. Um, and as the custodians are fighting off the last advance, they realize that Greyfax has most likely sacrificed yeah. himself. However, you can't count her out. No. Because you don't know. I know. What's we, coming. Exactly. What's going to go on and where she ends up. But the custodians have made their way. Yeah. Uh, so this one's back. just fallen back. Yes. Uh, from this one. And this one has uh, moved up six and advanced six to get exactly. there. So, so they're within control of uh, that communicator. communicator. So now. Uh, now it's basically down to two up row. Now it's down to this two up row here. 
uh, whether this very injured, and I will see if I can poison him right at the end, don't worry okay. about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you can roll that two up and get through that data. Again, another warning. <laughs> I'm gonna roll a one. I can feel it in my veins. <laughs> and yeah. you can't re-roll this either. So you're gonna do a prayer for the Emperor? <sighs> I don't even wanna do a prayer. <laughs> I just wanna roll now. Okay. Oh, oh he gets it! Now I will pray. <laughs> that is it. The data is intercepted. Of course, um demons would again emerge from this area because they want to react, yeah. but it is too late. It is the end here. Um, because How many casualties have I had? Just two, right? You... Astropath and one pistol, uh, yeah. one warden. Yeah. Not bad. But before we go... Yes, let's do this. I want to see if I get him. The custody clutched the staff of the Vexilla as he dropped to one knee. The chaos-tainted disease was flowing through his veins and his transhuman body was unable to combat the toxins. The custody eventually slumped himself onto the data console and began the sequence to download the information required. Brothers, my time has come. I shall hold the Vexilla aloft until my dying breath. Make sure it is brought back into the hands of the Adeptus Custodes. And make sure, whatever becomes of me, I remain dead. Long live the Emperor. See if I get him. Yes! Oh, wait, 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 wait. You said that he did. Oh, he does have yeah, He does. Oh, oh, oh so we, that was, that's really cool. As he died, that's he succumbed. He succumbed. Oh, amazing. Do you want to do that one? He's on one wound as well. He is as well, of course. Oh! oh wait, 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 wait! Come on! Yes! Oh, wow! That is unbelievable. What a last stand. Yes. There. Only two. Yes, before. Two and. Perfect, still alive. Yes, she is. Surrounded, which is amazing. Is. But um, she's not. It's not looking good for her. It's not, but it's unknown. It's unknown. It's unknown. What that happens to her afterwards? Don't know what's going to happen. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> um, so that's the end of the game. A victory. Two. Yeah, no victory. Mission accomplished. Right? Mission accomplished because yeah. we'll talk about the end of the inclusion. Yeah. The communicator is being sent off. What's going to happen next in uh, Mobus Epsilon? We shall find out. This is Shia Warden Cassius Vex of the Adeptus Custodes. Vox transmission to all Imperial forces within the vicinity or wider sector. We require immediate reinforcement and extraction from Sector 349AG, Mobus Epsilon. My Lords, this is the Battle Barge Fortitude. We were dispatched by the High Lords on receipt of the Inquisitor's transmission. We are preparing to make planet fall. Good to hear it, Commander. Inquisitor Greyfax's whereabouts are currently unknown. Her body has not been recovered. Knowing her unquestioning resolve, she still lives. We remaining custodies shall delve deeper into the hive and locate her once we rendezvous with your forces. I fear the war for Mobus Epsilon has only just begun. There we have it. End of the game, a victory to uh, Greyfax and the Custodies. Yeah. Although, what happens to Greyfax? We still don't know. We, do, we still don't know. We still don't know. We shall never know, perhaps. Um, maybe it'll continue in the narrative. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll weave it in there um, later on. So you shall find out on the roller coaster of Mobus Epsilon. Now, um, let's do a little bit of a recap of what's yeah. happened. I don't know how I, I, I finished the mission. Crazy. It was like, I was on, this is like near impossible. This is like, it's impossible. There's too many guys yeah. coming in. <laughs> it's tough to bring down, you know, because the weapons just don't go through them automatically. No, you always have those cheeky sixes no. to surprise. You had units of uh, sevens, meaning that one custody could, had to fight twice um, to take a full unit out if they needed. True. And um, I'll yeah, say though, when, when we when we put the narrative mission together, yeah, um, in my head I was like, well, I'm not going to do a full squad of ten because that is that'll bog you down. Yeah, um, and I don't want to do obviously hordes of twenty plus because that's just crazy. You'll never you'll never finish through them. Yeah, but um, I thought seven's a good number. It's Nurgle's number. Yeah, and I think after shooting and combat etc., you'll be able to. Oh, I got lucky on some of those rolls. Yeah, the problem is like the toughness <laughs> four saved you a lot because obviously. Yeah. I'm strength five. I would get the plus one, taking me to strength six with the with the spears. 
that would take me to twos, to wounds. Yes. But having that four up was the threes and I was missing a lot of those ones and twos. Yeah. But it, it got really interesting, right? It was a nail bite at the very, very end. It was. But I do want to be honest. And I was like, turn two and three, I was like, this is going to be near yeah. impossible to yeah. do. But look, really quickly, I, I really liked that we incorporated, obviously, in the mission at the beginning that um, I could fall back and still do um, actions and uh, a, could advance a, a total of six. You know, it's really good that we that we put all those in because yeah. it, just, it just saved me. I think um, that's, um, yeah, one, I think it's more fitting to the, um, the granular level that I guess we were at at the game, which yeah. is we're not playing a full out scale war. This is a small skirmish deep within the dark yeah. corners of the hive. Um, so custodies are superhuman warriors to the superhuman warriors. Exactly. So these guys are gonna, not going to be able to go, I can't, can't do that, sorry. No, exactly. Because, yeah. And it, is, it is narrative in the end of the day. Exactly. But, but just imagine a custode in, some, in small circumstances like this with zombies just moving slower than normal uh, other oh, enemies towards yeah. them. Like your overwatch would be... Yeah. Uh, easy, yeah, uh, yeah. You're, you, you know the mission is like a quick yeah. in and out mission, so you would be constantly moving really fast yeah. pace, you know? So yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed you it. You actually rolled really badly as well. I know, I know. Um, my, my hits and two wounds. <laughs> I don't think, I think seriously think that I hit and wounded with all my dice on one occasion. Yeah, it was, it was, pre I, going into this, I thought he's just going to mop so many boxes. Yeah. And you did, I did, but I thought you were going to go kind of breeze through them and I thought I'm going to have to get the blow them off. No? Yeah, be on you the did. back foot. Because <laughs> I guess law wise, probably one custodian would have done the job. Yes. Um, but even in this one, when we were going into it, I was thinking, do you know what? He's got five, five custodies and Inquisitor and an Astropath. Um, he could actually breeze through this. Now, yeah. let's quickly talk tactics, because I think you made a vital, vital error. Okay. Um, which was to split your forces so much uh, at the start. Because if you had moved, at, maybe kept the Vexilla like you did, because yeah. I thought that was a good idea. Um, in the comms area, he's, he's in the Vox network, he'd be able to just put it in straight away um, once the data is, say, cleared through. Yeah. Um, but if you had moved with, like, a horde and got to one of them and then moved again to the other... I don't think I would have had enough turns to do that. You really think? Yeah, because if I had, with my rolling, some units would have still survived, meaning that um, no. I would have stopped me to have that advance. I, I, I honestly think that splitting up was... Better, better better, I, I will have to rewatch and see what, yeah, yeah. what actually happened. Comment below. Maybe instead of breaking up into three, I should have break, broken up into two. Yes. Um, so have more attacks in each and just go yeah. one for one corner, go the other one yeah. for one corner. The problem is that if I if I would have had been unlucky and one of those units would have died, mm -hmm. split up units of two would have died, the whole uh, split up, that means that I would have never got onto one of the nodes. Having three yeah, yeah. meant that I was risking it, but I had the chance of three of them getting to the node True. instead of... In my head, it was like, the, if you have a core group yes. that you could have, for example, um, shielded off the custodies from the smiting you know, the units you had, so they yeah. were always kind of shooting and smiting in the back, um, and you had a lot of firepower, a lot of guns directed at one unit at a time, yeah. Because what you had is, because you had small squads, you weren't able to capitalize on taking them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, definitely. But anyway, it was... It was nail biter in yeah. the end because of that i had a lot of fun the yeah. um i can just imagine like the dark dingy like almost pitch black yeah of this shut down medical facility and then all of a sudden these droning noises coming out everywhere great facts with his uh just the, 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 the light of the candle yeah, on the hat yeah. just glowing you know, that's the only thing, yeah. ah, so cool so so cool um now let's move the narrative forward yes um that's what we want to see because this is obviously the prelude mm -hmm. to what would be the um mobus epsilon yeah. uh full battle yeah. um, war. Um, now, you've gone through the communicator yes. and you have said any Imperium units, any Imperium forces within the area, within the sector, if you can hear the distress call, we need immediate distraction. We have found um, damning evidence yes. that this world perhaps needs either exterminatus or a full-scale invasion from the might of the Imperium. Um, now, we're going to let you guys decide yeah. What Imperial faction answers that call? Answers that call. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we're, we're going to let you decide with all of our Imperium factions, Space Marine factions. Yes. Space Marine. Obviously, the Imperial Guard won't yeah, come down to help. You know, <laughs> no, no, they're, no. They're, they're not that that kind of uh, <laughs> army for that for that role, right? No. Um, so we do have 
we can call the custodies, right? There are, can be more custodies. More custodies come in. We have got the Dark Angels. We have. We've got the Space Wolves. Yep. We've got the Crimson Fists. Yep. We've got the Raptors. Yes. And we've got our very own Ashen Lancers, oh. which still haven't been on YouTube. So if, not. if they people vote for that, um, we would actually yeah, see for the first time. Them. But yeah, there's a lot of options there. I don't think I've missed anybody out. We do have the Blood Angels as well, the we Firstborn Blood Angels. Firstborn. Unless there, um, maybe there's a lot of uh, Blood Angel fans or Firstborn fans. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you do have a very good uh, selection there. And just comment away. Just let us know yeah. what you enjoy. If you enjoyed it, and just let us know where you want this narrative to carry on, which faction you want that to answer that call, right? Exactly. So um, just comment below. Name the faction you yeah. want down the list that Mr. Pablo just gave you. Um, obviously, don't comment other ones because we don't have them. Yes. <laughs> but otherwise, yeah, comment away, guys. Let there's, us know. There's going to be those comments. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah. Can't there be Iron Hands? Yeah. No. <laughs> no, there can't be Iron Hands. There can't be. We don't have them yet. Maybe one day. Yeah, well, we can use the Ashen Lancers. Oh, this is something important. Oh. Ashen Lancers is an unknown uh, successor. So if you put the Ash, if you choose Ashen Lancers, say what, right? Yeah, what as successor. Playing as, White yeah. Scars. Iron Hands, Salamanders, you know, we can yeah, do it that option. Way. That's a great idea. Well yeah. done, Mr. Parker. Thank you. Thank you for remembering. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so um, hope you guys enjoyed that uh, prelude to the uh, Mobus Epsilon um, campaign. Campaign, great word. It's a campaign now. It is a campaign. It's just and it's more become, than one. Yeah, yeah, it was going to be just the one potentially if you got eaten alive and yeah. died Which in the death. was going to happen. Uh, so did I. Um, <laughs> I'll get to you next time, Gadget. So <laughs> um, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed, like I said, and we will see you again very soon.